Iron farms are awesome. Erect a pillar that's five blocks tall. Add a building block, a piston facing upwards, and place three blocks like this, one block like this, and two blocks like this. I'm always precise. On the two blocks, place two repeaters facing the piston and set them to four ticks each. Repeat on the opposite side, placing two repeaters facing away from the piston and set them both to four ticks. Now add rest on here and there and three building blocks to cover the gaps. On top of the repeaters, place a two by three platform and add three beds. Now, on the same height as the beds, place three composters and add three trapdoors on top of them to cover the hole. In the middle, behind the composters, place a temporary block and add three trapdoors on top of each other. Once you're done, close the trapdoors and add a three block tall pillar on each side of the temporary block and then break it. Build an emotional shield out of glass and add three trapdoors like this on the same height as the glass. <laughs> it's time to add the villagers. Now you could do it with rails, boats or workstations, but by watering villager seeds found in village loot chests, you can easily grow a villager tree. I love my three-headed villager bonsai. As your human plant watches you terrified, put a chest on the side and place five hoppers going inside of it and along the glass. Now you're ready to cover up the villagers so that no one can hear their agonizing screams. It's time for the zombie. Unless you water zombie seeds like I do, you'll need to make a dirt staircase all the way to the zombie's permanent place above the piston. But my thumb is greener than the rainforest today. So watering we go. Name the zombie with an inappropriate name and cover it up. You don't like the sun? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. You will never have to see it again. Complete the platform because you forgot to do so earlier and move on to surrounding the whole thing with walls. Now place the last two walls on top of the middle hopper and surround the highest wall with signs on all sides. Place step signs on top of bro signs you already placed and add a warm lava bucket in the middle. Now add two water buckets on each corner and make sure to hurt yourself on the way down. Right below the chest you want to place eight glass and eight ladders to quickly access the golems insides. And last but not least, make this unemployed farm start working by placing a redstone torch right in front of the piston. The zombie should go up and down, occasionally scaring the villagers, which will spawn an iron golem who will die faster than he can say. Here are the items you will need. Are you following my profile? I post helpful Minecraft videos every single day. <laughs> my name is Lonely and you are awesome. <laughs>